I recently had someone leave a comment asking about getting timing right with automation and their question specifically stated, how can I put a specific time into fade in and fade out? I can do it manually with the mouse, but I need to have it in, a, in an exact way, such as putting time on it. Now, I'm assuming that they mean seconds. So one of the first things that we're going to take a look at is here in the transport. Now, this is bars, and I believe that because of my uh, resolution, I only have one time display here. If you're on a 1920 by 1080 uh, monitor, then you may have two here. But this is one area that we want to look at, and you want to change this to, for me, I'm going to change this to seconds because I need to know, I'm assuming he wants to know uh, in seconds, minutes, and so on. So we change that here, and then our cursor is at the beginning of bar one. If I press the space bar, we can see I'll stop at the beginning of bar two. There's two seconds, basically, within each bar when we're set to 120 BPM. Now, that's going to change depending on the BPM, so you'll want to keep that in mind when you're uh, doing this. But for our instance, 120 beats per minute, we have two seconds per bar. We can see that because we've changed our readout. Now, say you want to apply this to the fader on an audio track. I'll press T to bring up the Add Tracks dialog. I'll click OK. We now have our track here. And if I click this icon in the bottom left corner, then we can see we have our volume here. So say you want a five second fade out beginning at bar six. So I'll click here. Our song position cursor goes to the beginning of bar six. And we know that each bar has two seconds in it. So we'd want two and a half bars. So I will just come to this position here, click once to add an automation point then come out two and a half bars. I'll click here to add our second automation point. And then I'm going to just click hold and drag that down. And actually, let me just take that all the way down. And if you notice that snapping, if you have snap on, that is going to influence where you can place your automation points. Now I've got my quanti, quanti set to 16th notes the snap is on so I am going to be restricted or it's going to snap to those positions. If you don't want that to happen then just press in uh, to turn off the snap to grid and you'll be able to place your automation points wherever you'd like without that snapping. But we can see now that we have a fade out that is set to five seconds specifically. So our cursor is here at the first automation point. I'll press the space bar. Let's keep an eye on our timing here, which is at 10 seconds. And if I stop at the second automation point, we can see we have a five second passage of time for this fade out. If I F3 open up the uh, mix console, we can see that our fader is all the way down uh, to 0 dB, or not 0 dB, but silence. Uh, if I come back to 5, I th believe that's where we start at, and I'll go ahead and press play again. We start at 6, and we now have our automation for a set period of time, and that's how you can go about doing that. Now, what if you want to apply the same thing to an instrument? I'll press F6 and open up the instruments panel. Let's bring in say a presence, I'll just drag that in, press F5 to close the browser, and let's just choose a pad here. And I'm gonna activate the filter there, close that out. I'm gonna press A on my QWERTY keyboard to change the display in the track column here so we can bring up our automation controls. I'll click on the down arrow click add remove and we want the filter cutoff so we have filter here I'll expand that out double click on the cutoff it's now been added to this column here and we have an automation lane that has been added so again say we would like to add four seconds to that cutoff so I'll come to the beginning of bar seven click once there come to the beginning of bar nine and then I'll click hold and just drag that down. Let's come back to the beginning there. Open up our presence. 
Notice our cutoff here. We then have a five second adjustment made to that cutoff. Now, what if you want to put an aid on a fade on the end of your song on the master channel? Well, let me shift T to take that out. And I'm actually gonna take this one out as well. I will F3, open up the mix console, come to the automation control at the bottom of our master channel, click where it says auto off. I'll add remove parameters, double click the volume, close. Let's close out our mix console. We can see that we now have a lane for our master channel. And again, we would just use the song position cursor. We can see where we are. We're at 15 seconds. Um, if I add my point, let's actually come to nine. I'll add a point there. If we'd like a four second fade out, I'll click at the beginning of bar 11. Pull this down. I'll press F3 to open up the mix console. Our read is on. You can see that that is active. And I'm going to press the space bar. Just notice that we're at 16 seconds. So this should drop all the way to silence by the time we get to 20 seconds. Okay, and we're there. And that's how you can go about setting specific time uh, with your automation.